Oh wait, that was some workout. Yeah, I can never seem to get that first turn right. Oh, you were doing hundreds. So. Oh, hey, easy. <laughs> Don't worry. No, my foot isn't right yet. <laughs> okay, bye now. <laughs> Hi. What's your rush? I got a plane to catch. Take mine. Where to? Brooklyn. Ah, I can offer you several flights daily. Oh, yeah? Flights or trips? It's up to you. What's your name? It's, uh, John Travolta. <laughs> hmm? You like watching the girls dance, do you? Hey, listen, John. I'm looking for some backup people from my rock group. Kids who are promising. Look, man, I don't promise anything. And in case you haven't heard, I'm primarily a singer, not a dancer. That's right, a fabulous singer. Her voice is the greatest in town. She's groovy, a knockout. She's a knockout even with her mouth shut. <laughs> now tell me what I don't know. What's your line? Well, sirens mostly. I'm a Red Cross volunteer. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's hear it. Well, don't just stand there. You heard the siren. Get out of the way. Have you gotten bananas? You blew a great chance to hitch a ride out of this dump, and you just wail right in the guy's face. Who do you think you are anyway, talking to the colonel like that? I know who I am. I'm an 18-year-old nothing. 18? Since when? Since today. Then you don't take it so hard. Old age doesn't come until you're at least 30. Why didn't you tell us it was your birthday? We could have had a cake. Oh, come on, you guys. I'm already having one celebration. And believe me, that's going to be all that I can take. What do you mean? At home? Look, you can come to my house. With you, that'll make 13 of us. But, well, my mother can't count. <laughs> at my house, with me, there are five of us. For them, that's one too many. But didn't you say they were having a party for you? <laughs> Some party. A store-bought cake. And a check for $100 because no one bothered to take time to buy me a present. $100? Plus 5% to cover inflation. Well, look, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? See you yeah. around. Bye. See ya. Bye. Did you say $100? Yeah. Cindy, you've got to go home to your party tonight. Why? Because afterwards, we're going to spend that 100 less of fiver at the Sing and Tape. It's a new studio on Flatbush Avenue. What for? We sing, they tape. Then we'll have a demo tape to send to the record company. N O no. schon sein ist I suppose you expect me to stop packing and start cooking. Don't you worry about it. I go in the kitchen. I cook. Do that, Harry. Uh, uh, Muriel. I gotta ask you to do me a big favor. Like what? Now listen to me. I'm a motor general, so with you and your daughters, Liz and Carol, huh? I don't make any remodeling on the restaurant now because I want to send you all to Rome. And since this trip to Rome is gonna cost me a lot of money, you know. But I don't mind because uh, because in this way, finally, your girls are maybe able to play good uh, violoncello because uh, the way those two are doing now, for a probably schief, huh? I know that, Harry. And we're very grateful. I mean it. Uh. There isn't a favor you could ask me that I wouldn't say yes to. Uh. And take along my Cindy to Rome. No! Please take Cindy to Rome, Don't won't you? ask me that question, Harry. The answer is no. A thousand times no. But Cindy must go. She mustn't stay here. Bake all you like. It won't do you any good. I've put up with that child for 17 years. For 18 years. 
I've tried to be a good mother to her, but I'm not her mother. She's your daughter, Harry, not mine. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. done my duty. Don't ask me to do any more. She's the fruit out of your past. She's your rotten apple, Harry. Hey, what's all this uh, fruit out of my past? Cindy ain't a piece of fruit. She ain't an apple or a banana. At that. Girls, Liz, Carol. Uh, call in the others. Your father has asked me to take Cindy to Rome with us. What? Oh, no, never. Anything but that. Oh, no, Papa, please don't. I beg you, she'll ruin everything. We'll be too busy. Yeah, we'd have to take her everywhere. Besides, we're in class all day at the Academy of Santa Cecilia. Uh, Cecilia, Santena, Corsica. Santa Cecilia, you ignorant one. But, Papa, but why? But why? Because I've been trying to tell you for half an hour. I speak with the lawyer, Giri, today on the telephone. Then I went to see him. He gave me this... It's a warrant. Cindy's in oh, trouble. Again. What's new, Harry? She's always in trouble. Well, eat, drink, and a happy birthday to you, Cindy. Then don't forget to take the money and run, you hear? We'll wait outside for you here. The singing tape studio is open till midnight. Okay. No, Harry, and that's final. She's not going with us. She's your daughter, so she can stay with you. But she can't stay in New York, I told you gonna work. How am I gonna watch her? Besides, she's gonna have to go to court. She might end up in jail. Maybe that's where she belongs. At least there she won't cause any more trouble. If she comes to Rome, God knows what she'd do. You think I want her here? Giving me trouble? I don't want her. I tell you, she gotta go with you until things blow over. I got the business to worry about. Uh, you guys, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah. I don't know. What's the matter with that girl? I know one thing. She don't take it from me. She probably takes after that mother of hers. Hi. Uh, oh, hey, hi. Uh, you. Am I late? Uh, oh, disturbing uh, you. We, we were just saying. Yeah. Your Aunt Edna, she has a cold. Yeah. We were saying she probably caught it from that canary of hers. Yeah. Now that sounds reasonable. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my Cindy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Ah. Happy yeah. birthday, yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> I better douse these candles out before something catches. Oh, so inflation's up 10% this year. Mm. Pity. I don't know how to thank you. You're such a bunch of darlings. Well, I hope you had a wonderful trip. We'll see you in the morning. Hey, aren't you going to eat your cake? No. Thanks anyway. Enjoy it. And you too, Dad. Enjoy yourself. But I'm not going no place. But I am. Don't worry, not to roam. No way. Some place where I won't be a bother to you, or to you either, Dad. Well, what are you saying? The bother of having to keep track of me. You gotta work, right? Work? Or maybe I'll just go to jail where I belong. Well, you take care of yourselves now. Uh, where do you go? Oh, by the way, you shouldn't leave this on. What will the neighbors think? The show is over. Arrivederci. But she's really going away. Let her go. We've all heard Cindy. that spiel before. She'll come crawling home in time for the late show. Orabasta! That's right, Harry. Let's have a typical Italian real battle scene. We can throw garlic at one another. No, not garlic, because I still haven't uh, made up my mind whether to first to kick you or to slap you first and then poke your eyes, capi? Or to pull the hairs from that head of yours uh, one by one. And what I'm saying goes also for you and for you. Because you, Muriel, eh? Mi ha rotto cazzo! Io amo con il cinema, io sono una sciara! E va mai ci vedo con me! I see you with my bad hands!
You still got 28 meters of tape to waste. Who's gonna kill it? If you're nervous, I'll do it. I think my throat's cleared up. I'm not nervous. I'm pissed off. Why? What's bugging you? I'm so hurt. Everything's gone bonkers today. You guys should have caught the act at my house tonight. What a farce. I feel like screaming instead of singing. Then don't sweat it. Oh, hell, now that we're here, I might as well get it over with. Cindy Cardone, my daughter. How would you guys feel finding out on your birthday that your family hates you? And that your father's an egotistical, selfish bastard who thinks only of his business? You sure got a lot of respect going for you, haven't you? Well, okay, let's give it a whirl. Hey, you and the fishbowl, would you keep the bass down, please? Okay, okay. Well, take it, huh? Terrific voice. She's a knockout. She really is the best. That's what makes listening to a month of crap worthwhile. When you transcribe it, put it first. Well, okay, huh? no problem. Uh, please, uh, you may go on for me. Uh, you make a tent for me. <laughs> Cindy, it's fantastic. Hold it, she can't hear you. Now you can talk. Ah, uh, uh, Cindy, you are wonderful. Bravissima. Terrific. Great. Really great. We must talk. Oh, oh shit. No, no, I want to explain to you. Wait. Cindy, Cindy, come and say, where are you? Cindy, don't hide from me, please. Tell me to my face what you think of me, that I'm a bastardo, that I'm a selfish one. Tell me, come on. 
I, I, I gotta talk to you, Cindy. E even if you're hiding, listen to me. I know you're here. Say what you got to say. Could you just get out of here? I heard enough, Dad, at the front door. But, but, but they're only words. Stupid words. Is that what you want me to listen to now? Just words? But uh, I was just arguing with your mother. Let's get something straight here, okay? Your wife is not my mother! But I did it for you. Since when? Since when have you ever done anything for me? Uh, since when? Since you was born, I did. When did you ever take me to a movie or a show or the circus? Or the crummy zoo! When do we go to the beach for a weekend? Or to buy something? A doll? A stupid pair of jeans? When did you ever ask me how I felt if I was in love? Or if someone loved me? Or if, or if I was still a virgin? But these are problems that belong to your mother. Uh, I mean, Muriel. Oh, Muriel couldn't care less about me. She has her two little nice daughters. And you have your dad. Pizza restaurant. When did you ever ask your daughter, Cindy Cardone, what I wanted to do in my life? And when did you ever ask me to sing for you? When? You're right. But before you disappear, I want to tell you one thing. You think I don't love you, but I do. Ti voglia bene sai. Because it's true. If my head is only full of a pizza and mozzarella, in the heart there ain't any more room because it's already filled with you. I remember when you was born and I see you. The first time you were four days old. I was afraid to be there when you was born because Muriel might find out about your mother and me. And I thought I could hide it and go on like before. But your mother was dying. So, then I take you. And I bring you back to the house. And Muriel said, I'll keep your child. Because in that way, she also keep me. With a ball and chain tied to the neck that's lasted for 18 years. Now, tonight you tell me I don't love you. I'm a love. Only the business. What do you call amour, eh? If this ain't love, what the hell is it? That was terrific. You two ought to go to the actor's studio. And you go to hell! Uno, due, tre. Now I want to tell you that my papa's boots is quite the best in town. And I want to tell you that this pizza is the pride of Napoli. Have a pizza, wonderful pizza, incredible pizza, Napoli. Sing along and sing together. Alitalia, 
Alitalia, 13 Sepe, Roma, Volos. Be careful. Hey, watch the girls, huh? Do you see that one? If the boys over there are like that bum, I'll have to keep the girls locked up day and night. Especially that Cindy. She loves those types. The dirtier, the better. You gotta get used to Italians, because when you get over there, you're gonna find a lots of them. <laughs> Not like him, I sincerely hope. Eh, we'll be agile. Watch yourself, no. man. Goodbye. Now, you watch out for the Italians, huh? Because they, uh, did shit. <laughs> Bye-bye, Papa. Now, look at you. You put on a weight. Papa! Elsa, you watch out. Uh... <sighs> you don't know how I envy you. I don't know. It's gonna be something with that family Well, anyway, back. you're gonna be a great success. Don't worry. Yeah, well, now well, you guys keep an eye on Brooklyn when I'm gone, and don't sell out to the Bronx. Yeah, we'll hang in there. Thanks. Just so don't long. worry. Sì, è questo tipo di macchina. Fatto per rubare i soldi. Come funziona? Uh, you want a... Ciao! E non ho mai visto una macchina così. È una trappola americana. È una sì, gran eh. fregatura questa macchina, sai? Yes, it's the third time I put coins in this mother. You want uh. a cigarette, huh? Oh, okay, all right. Hold this. Uh, what kind do you want? This brand here? Yes, thanks. But it's no use. It doesn't work. It's on strike. <laughs> there you go. You hit the jackpot this time. America's generous if you know where to push. <laughs> They're on the house, Faisa. Oh, may I have my drink back? Thank you. Enjoy and uh, don't smoke yourself to death, all right? Ciao. Hey, wait a second. What's your name? Cindy. And yours? Mitsio. Mitsio. Funny. Sounds like a cat food commercial. <laughs> hey, when can I see you? Sooner or later. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We have the 30 cassettes. We give some to my friends. But the rest I want for myself. This one's for you. Only one for me. But the voice you got in your throat. For you it's possible to hear it whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> but 30. <laughs> You're too much. <laughs> yeah, you have to go now. Mm, all right. Maybe I'd better just turn and run. Just turn around and walk away from me. And I don't come back? Mm? No. Not for a while yet. You phone me, eh? I will. Well. Oh, Papa. I love you. I know. God bless. Bye. Don't you worry. I'll take care of her. <laughs> Haven't we met someplace before? Oh, hi. We have to find you a better place to sit. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to Rome, and you? So am I. <laughs> <laughs> but you know this isn't your apartment and Peter doesn't live anymore. <laughs> oh, my God, Sonny, my doggy, bye. 
I'm Marianne Duvalier. I'm your next door neighbor and a very good friend of Peter. My little Teodoro used to use your terrace when Peter lived here as a shortcut home. I guess I'll have to break his habit. <laughs> you are La Signora Cardoni. And you are... No, no, don't tell me. You are Carol. And you're Liz. And you're Cindy. <laughs> good guess. <laughs> oh, no, I don't guess anything. I know. How do you do it? It's my profession. I was raised in Martinique, and I studied the arts of black magic with Boo Boo, the island's most famous witch doctor. I can see the past, present, and future. <laughs> but first, I must greet you on behalf of our association of necromancers and cartomancers and astrologers. Benvenuti in Italia. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> may, I, may I ask you to lunch? There's a very reasonable restaurant down the street. I'm afraid not. We just arrived and we're very tired. Really? Oh, what a pity. We must do it another day. Au revoir. Tell Teodoro. Who knows where he is now? Arrivederci. The nerve of that woman walking in on us as if she owned the place. I thought she was nice. That's what you think. And close that window. I want her and her cat kept out. Don't answer it, Cindy. It's probably that witch again. Maybe it's only her cat. Hi. Hi. I'm an hour early, but I can wait out in the hall if you want. No. Come on in. Better not. Your mother's funny about vagabond. Oh, don't worry. She's busy in the bathroom at the moment. She'll be in there for the next two hours. Come on. Come in. Good evening. Enjoying your stay? I hope the trip over didn't tire you too much. Have they forgotten their English already? No, but they're just shy with strangers. Come on. I'll take you to my room. I've been waiting for you to show me the town. I've kept my word. I haven't looked at a thing. So how did you manage with the stairs? Oh, well, I have to confess. I, I did look just a little. <laughs> oh, isn't this view wonderful? You know, I never expected Ron to be like this. Tonight, you're going to see everything there is to see. And even more. <laughs> Gotta just get my wait. Crystal go. Well, you're going nowhere, young lady. Oh, we meet again, dear Mrs. Caldone. Good evening. Who opened the door to this vagabond? I thought we'd seen the last of you on the plane. And what are you doing in my daughter's bedroom? I was just admiring the view. You can see it much better from the street. Wait a minute. He is a guest. You can't throw him out. A guest? I'll deal with you later. No, now. Deal with me now. You can't throw Mitsio out just because you think he's one You know, Cindy, your mother has a special way of making people feel right at home. Look, I know what you're after, sniffing around my daughter like a hungry hound dog. And let me tell you right now, your attentions are not welcome. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Now that you've made yourself comfortable, get out before I call the police. I know the number. One, one, three. I found it in the list of instructions. Hello, polizia. Io sogno la signora Cardone. Io vole a luto. C'è un fatente in mia casa. If he goes, I go. Fine. Get out, then. The two of you. You mean it? Yes, I mean it. Get out. Come on, Mitsio. Out! Go. You're going to be sorry, Cindy. Will I? No. Okay, let's go. Central Park of Rome. Are there a lot of drifters and weirdos here? Mm. Mm. Mizio. Scared? No, no, I can adapt to almost anything. Good, come on. Well, as long as the roof doesn't leak. What's he doing? Changing the lock. 
Did you lose your keys? No, but while I was away, the landlord put a new lock on, so... Why? Who does he think he is? He's just the caretaker of the park, and besides, I got a little behind in the rain. I finished, Prince. You can have Ciao, the keys. Ciao, Tony. Buongiorno. Now I'll pay you later. Eh? As usual. <sighs> so, what do you think? Do you like it? Like I said before, as long as the roof doesn't leak. Oh, my God. Come on in. <gasps> it probably needs a little cleaning up. I'll do it. We'll both do it. After the grand tour. My God. It looks like a theatrical warehouse. It is. Huh? I bought everything from a stagehand at the opera house. So? So, it's all fake. Fake and cheap. You'll grow to love it. I love it already. Mm. Just don't dare sit on it. Hey, 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 now this is something else. Wow. I gotta check this out. Oh, this is a professional stereo system. I told you I had a rock group wow. before. And we used to rehearse here and then... Should. Want to hear something? There's some tapes and records under there. No. First, the grand tour. I can't wait to see Rome. Okay. So you just give me five minutes to take a shower, and then you're going to see Rome like nobody's ever seen it before. Okay? All right. You're on. I can't wait. <laughs> Don't be too long. one of my tapes? I know! Is that yours? It's me! You mean it's your tape? No, I mean it's me singing! Here I am. Hey, Bob, get to bed. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you? Hi, baby, and you. Where the hell have you been? It's been a month of months since I've seen you. I did a gig in the States. I did a little bit of What about you? Oh, I've been to England and Scandinavia. Oh, all over the place. Were you working there? Ah, this is Hilda. Oh, ciao. Come inside. Oh, it's great to see you, man. Come here. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Vamp, this is Cindy. She's from New York. Hi, you, Cindy. Hi. This is the Vamp. He's English but Roman, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and Hilda? Hilda's Swedish. If you speak Swedish or Arabic, you can talk to her. I don't, so we just smile at each other. Mm. You can put your, your bag down if you want to. You're home. Settle down. Mm? Do I hear Lagardine sauce Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me, was that Swedish or Arabic? Mm. It must have been Swedish. I don't know Arabic. Are we going to celebrate? There must be something liquid around here. Well, I'd take you to the wine cellar, but it hasn't been dug yet. Mitzio, weren't we going to go out and visit Rome? Come on, Cindy, the night is young. First we guzzle and eat, Great. then we'll go. Before you ask me why all the greatest sax players are English, like myself, tell me something. Are you staying here? I, I don't, I don't know. You could do worse. Miss is the best, a real prince. Do you want a joint? No, thanks. What was that sound I heard as I pulled up? I mean, that voice was marvelous. Cindy's trying to convince me it was her. Well, if it was you, love, you shouldn't be wasting your time hanging around here. With a voice like that, you could be driving a Rolls Royce and knocking them dead in the Colosseum. 
And I don't mean the ruin down the road. Yeah, well, i got to make a phone call to the States. So now, stick around, join the party. You might as well make yourself at home. I thought I was. We'll eat in ten minutes. I'm not hungry, thank you. Hey, come over here. Hey, what's the matter? Hmm? hmm? Nothing. I just thought we... We what? I thought we were going out together. But we will, we will. Just so we have a drink with them and a plate of spaghetti, and then we go. Okay? Okay. Here, put these on the table. All right. Thanks. Did you know that your Viking friend is planning to camp out on your sofa? Vamp's regular girl is back, so don't worry. There's room for everybody. I know, huh? There isn't room for me. Sure there is. Come on, I'm not good. Cindy, you can have all my bed to yourself if you want it. I'm just so tired I could sleep standing up. Now you're tired. Any excuse to get out of going out with me. Listen, how do I know he'd show up? He's a friend of mine. We work together. And we got a lot to talk about. And I suppose you've got a lot of talk about with this girl, too. In a threesome, huh? Now you listen. My house is always open to my friends. And the friends are my friends, too. What you are it? you? Some mission priest? Ah, you should open up a hotel. How many more are going to show up? The rest of the band? And are they going to shack up here, too? If they want to, yes. And I suppose they expect to eat here, too. If they want to, yes. When you said I wouldn't be sorry. Well, I am. So why don't you just go, then? I will! Up your sleeve. Go back to your mother. You're two of a kind. Oh, yeah. You bet you are. You, you bum. Go on. Like the show's over. Oh, you're in English. American. Now get lost. I can speak American too. Don't cry, baby. Come on, take a ride. You take a ride, and the farther the better. And turn that light off. Take it easy, doll. You know I hate to see a girl cry. You got something against talking to a stranger? You're not a stranger. You're two strangers. Well, we make friends. We're just practicing motocross riding. In the park? See, si, good practice. Lots of bumps, lots of girls. Great, so why don't you just keep looking? But we find you. Get lost! Go away! Scram! Beat it! Okay, okay, no hard feelings. We go and you can cry all you want. Wait a minute, hold it. If you've got room in the bike, you might as well take me home. I'm lost. I'm angry. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Not anymore. Hop on, Bella. We buy you something to eat and drink, cheer you up, and then we drive you home. Come on, Bruno. We'll show her a good time.
Ammazza quanto bene questa Ok baby doll, come out now, you catch gold Dai, vieni, vieni There you go Are you happy now? Are you staying with us forever? Yeah And what about me, eh? a little kiss for me? No, 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 no kiss Okay <laughs> and yeah, come on. <laughs> Ma chi Io, erano quelli? No, ma, um, eh, per favore i documenti. <coughs> documenti? I'm American. Ecco. Ah, all right, all right. No, come on, please, no, not here Andiamo, too. non pastori. I didn't know them. We, we, we were you no, taking me? me? No. Sì, va bene. Let me call okay, the American okay. Embassy, will you? It's okay. Good morning. Of the five bags they found on you, this one is yours. Apparently, the thieves got away with your necklace. Mitya wasn't even there, and I'm not going to answer any more of your questions. Oh, so he ditched you already, did he? I warned you, didn't I? He didn't ditch me. He... Mm, never mind. Whatever happens, you're back here with us, and that's the end of that. Now, I know you're longing to go home. No, no, I love it here. I'm having a great time. You call spending the night in lockup having a great time? Okay, I'll find something else better to do. The girls and I are going to help you keep busy. That's what families are for. I'll draw up a list of your duties around the house. Washing and ironing. And do the floors once a week and the windows twice a month. And prepare the dinner for us when we're back from the academy. And you're to make the beds every day. Now I get it. All this help, all this concern, the friendly welcome. What all you really wanted was to get hired help for nothing. Not for nothing, Cindy. In exchange, you get to stay in Italy. Unless, of course, you prefer to go to reform school in the United States. Blackmail. That's a fine way to talk to your mother. Well, that's what it is. Blackmail. Call it what you like. Take it or leave it. I, I don't know. I... And if you decide to leave it, I'll call the consul, and he'll call the chief of police, and the Italian government will pay your airfare back to the United States. Well? No. I'd rather go to prison than scrub the floors for the three of you. That's easily arranged. All right. Don't call. I'll do what you want. 
You start your duty tomorrow at 7. Your day off will be Thursday. But I want you home by midnight. I left the menu for breakfast in the kitchen. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We moved your stuff to the maid's room. We need yours to practice it. We can't have you around disturbing us. And another thing, don't wake me before 9. We don't know how to thank you. You were such a help. I was glad. The registrar. We couldn't have done it without you. It's our first trip to Europe. We still have so many things to do. I imagine you like it. Oh, yes. Hi, girls. Here I am. I got Hi. terrific pictures of St. Peter's. Did you get enrolled? Yes, Mama. We managed to get through all the paperwork. It's thanks to Victoria here that we were accepted. Very pleased to meet you. I'm Muriel Cardoni, and your yes, school is oh, absolutely... Oh, we can talk later, Mama. Let's go outside. We'd like to invite Victoria for a drink. Okay. And since you've been so good to my daughters, I'm buying the drink. <laughs> your name's the time. Yes, it is. Our father was born here in your neighborhood. Oh. Now, Buttercup, place your left hand over the card. It's the sun. Do you know the name of the person you're looking for? Yamitsio. Ah. Now, you cut the deck. Yamitsio, that's all you know? I don't know his last name. Don't you know his family? I've never met them. Apparently, he doesn't get along with them. He's very poor. He, he lives in a sort of greenhouse in the Borghese Park. Now, you listen and pay attention. Well, now, let's sum up what we know. His name's Mitzio. He lives in a greenhouse in the park. And you met him at the airport in New York. Buongiorno, principessa. Salve, Mario. C'è mio padre? No, non ancora, principe. And I'm glad about that. I'm not late. Well, thanks again for the ride. It was nice meeting you. See you soon. Goodbye. See you at school. Thanks again. Bye. Ciao. Is this where she lives? Did I hear him call her Principessa? Twice. Who would have thought Victoria was a real princess? Girls, Ooh. we have been in the presence of royalty. Mm. Santi, many cars. Chile Palazzo. Achille. You can speak English, madam, I understand. Yes, thank you. This building, what is its name? The Palace Gerardeschi. Who lives here? The Gerardeschis. Princess Victoria just got out of this cab and walked into the building. <gasps> oh, my God. I can't believe it. Do they have an apartment here or what? They live in the whole building. They always have. Very faint still. I feel it though, yes. Uh, no? I think he's going... Ah. Uh, yes, he's going away. Oh. Uh, he's going where? Ah, uh, no. I see something else. It's a, a closed place. And I hear only... Only music. Ah. Uh, I see lights flashing now. And people dancing. Yes, it's a discotheque. That's what it is. Its name is, uh, its name, oh, I can't read it anymore. It's going away. Don't stop. Look again and tell me the name of the disco. Please try. Hmm. I don't see anything. Oh, now wait. Yes, now I see it. It's called the, the, the paper moon. <laughs>
ready now. Thanks. Hello. I can't believe it. It's the siren. Hiya, doll. Hey. It's the colonel. Don't you remember me? You took that flight after all. If I had known, you could have come with me. If you're confusing me with that rude little brat back at the New York School of Performing Arts, <laughs> you're right. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, what brings you to the Eternal City? Well, I'm on a working vacation. Alone? <laughs> with my family, or our family at any rate. Ah. And, um, I suppose you're finding it a drag with your family around. We're playing in Rome? Milan, Florence, and then to South America and Brazil. Maybe I could find room for you. You get right to the point, don't you? <clears throat> yeah. But this time, kid, not that point. Yeah, I really am looking for a singer. And you're the one. <laughs> Come on, man. <clears throat> I'm just a beginner here. And you know, your group is way at the top. You know, millions of records every year. Hey, well, go on. As you were saying. As I was saying. I'm with him, the guy at the piano. Oh? At least I hope I am. Hey, listen, Hot Wind. Anytime you want. What? My offer. It still stands. Oh, of course. 
<laughs> you know you don't. Well, neither did I, but now I do. Why? Well, some mystic force must have brought me here, don't you think? Oh, sure. The same mystic force that makes me want to. Is this the right place to do that? way you play. Mm. And you kiss the way you sing. Tell me, I saw you were talking to the Colonel. You know him? Me? I'm just a nobody. I just met him once in New York. What is he after? Uh, he just wanted me to sing for him. And? And now I have. <laughs> for you, though. Promise me one thing, Cindy. What? Never, never to get mixed up with him. He got into heavy drugs and he never got out. He's bad news. <laughs> what do I need him for? I got all the good news I can handle, right? Here, with you. <laughs> well. You'd better get your group back together again. They're really fantastic. Just wait till you hear the others. My drum stretches like Kelly with a hundred arms. <laughs> and Vamp plays sax like Gabriel on Judgment Day. <laughs> How about tuna? Tuna? Yeah. Oh, tuna. Tuna knows how to handle a guitar like Casanova handled women. <laughs> You're kidding. Well, with your kind of music, you can't miss. Think of a name for the quintet. Quintet? Huh. Well, me, tuna, vamp, stretch, and you. Me? Well, if you'll sing with us. I'd love to. You're a lamb. You sure now? Think I'm kidding? You've got a great voice. <laughs> Play that tune again. I love it. It's beautiful. Please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to call it? I'm going to call it... What? idiot. Look what you've done. You're the idiot. And you owe me a new pair of pants. And you've damaged my bumper. Come on, you can buy a new bumper with the change in your pocket. It costs more money to empty the ashtrays at a car like this. So, why don't you just trade in the hubcaps and buy a Volkswagen? I doubt if you're insured. Jail is what you deserve. You're the one who's to blame. You think the whole world should get out of your way. 
Don't you know the rules of the road, Papa? I look at you and begin to understand the decline of the aristocracy. Well, this aristocrat declines to stand here and argue. And by the way, I didn't come here to see you. I came to see Marianne. Just a moment. Why don't you come to see me at my home, huh? I've already told you a thousand times. I will never, never put my nose again in your bloody palace. I've been given an ultimatum. The Holy See says I must pass my title as Chief Master of Ceremonies to my firstborn son or they'll give it to the Mariscalkis. Doesn't the Vatican approve of your shady housing deals or your affairs with other women? Do they know about Marianne? Miguel! I already have too many titles. Why don't you just give them all to my brother? I'm sure he'd love to have no, them. No, Egisto's not my firstborn son. Anyway, I'm not very really happy about that one. You will receive the title at the, the ball that I'll give for your sister's engagement. Not on your life. You refuse? I do. No ball, no title, no nothing. At least go and see your mother. Oh, she's got my address. Bye-bye, Papa. When you're dead broke and half starving to death, don't come to see me. I'll slam the door in your face. It doesn't say anything here, but could this be a masked ball? But why should Victoria and Philippe have a masked ball? They're just getting engaged, that's all. And anyway, it's nowhere near Halloween. Italians do not celebrate Halloween, but they love to dress up in funny clothes. And gowns for a ball like that would cost a mint. Three mints. Three gowns. Three mints. Hey, just think of the money you'll be saving if you don't get invited. Here we are planning what to wear, and we haven't even been invited yet. It's going to be hard to get an invitation. But we've got to get invited. All the crowned heads of Europe will be there. We don't care about all that aristocracy. We just want Victoria's brother to be there. I'm sure they're longing to meet you. Come on. Hello? Yes, this is the Cardoni residence. No, she's gone out. Yes, I'll tell her. What would you want with an English translation of the Divine Comedy? Oh, rats! I was gonna surprise you for your birthday. Oh, well, it's too late. Can I go? Yes, but be back by noon. <sighs> we're going to the market and we're gonna spend the whole afternoon in the kitchen. Catching roaches? Cooking. All afternoon? Who, for a king? No, for a prince. Have you invited a Gista for dinner? No, my dear, you're going to ask him. I wonder what princes eat. Hey, for a starter, poached roach! <laughs> Set of percussions with three drums, two electric guitars, a tenor sax, cymbals and maracas, a complete sound system in good condition. You mean you pawned all these instruments here? It looks like it, no? But why? I don't understand it. Well, well it takes a lot more money than you think to go around the world. And you guys let him pawn all your instruments. Uh. And you cats are still his friends, too? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. You're just gonna have to dispawn them, my friend, and quickly. Hmm? Easy to say, but hard to do. I can help you. I got $200. You guys can have it. That will help. Thank you. All we need now is another 7,800. It's about 12 million lira. It's not too much when you think of it. It's only one lira from every member in our television audience. We oui, have Just tell me one thing. Where are you guys going to get all that money? Don't worry. The prince here will think of something. He has the right connections. Let's go, lads. See you later. Well? What? I'll just have to... think of something. Won't I? I'll call you tonight, Prince. What's this prince stuff, by the way? I don't like it. it sounds like a dog. Here, friend. Come here, friend. <laughs> Why don't you just change it? Will you? I'm afraid it's too late. Uh-oh. Who's that? Looks like the caretaker's carrying out his threat. The landlord? It's the same. What threat? I still owe him the rent for when I was away. And we made a contract. But he has no right to rent to you anyway. This is public property here. Well, what's the use? What's the use? He ought to be put in jail is what's the use. I'm gonna have a few words with that guy. No, wait. Don't tangle with him. He's a tough number. So am I. Cindy, cool it, will you? Console Second Empire. One chaise lounge. What do you Let's think you're table. doing, you big jerk? Pardon my French. If that's your idea of French, I doubt if you and I can communicate. A New York accent, but I can't place it exactly. Lower East Side? Wherever she's from, she's a friend of mine. I suppose you find her kind of rude as charming. Stop. Ask her to step aside. She's in the way. You tell your men to move everything back inside. Me too, you tell them. 
These men take orders from me and no one else. I'm Come on, it. Cindy, let's go. In America, they send people like you to prison. And for what, may I ask? What have I done to deserve jail? First, you are renting a place that doesn't even belong to you. He told you that, did he, eh? Second, you changed those locks on me and see while he was away. I could hardly have done it while he was here. Third, you're taking away his furniture. And besides, pans, pots, and all these sheets and blankets, and that sack of potatoes he calls a bed, that's already been loaded into the truck. You really think you're something, don't you? For somebody who's nothing but a park custodian, what, what makes you think you're so special, eh? A eh? park custodian, eh? Are you having another one of your escapades among the lower classes again? Hey, listen, mister. Mezio here is poor. And I tell you, he's proud to be poor. You shouldn't be treating him like this. What's your name? What's it to you? I'm enlarging the park zoo. And we need some Americans. All right, all right, all right. Uh, That's enough. You, Luigi Quindici. Now, oh. I'll deal with you later. No, on, Cindy. not before I've given you this. You take it. You seem to be the legal executive here. It's an eviction notice. One whistle from me and it goes into effect. I also have the legal right to confiscate those musical instruments of yours. You wouldn't dare. It depends entirely on Prince Charming here. Come on, Cindy. I think we've heard enough. Come on. Ah, so your name is Cindy. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Cindy, you tell him all he has to do is accept my terms. And I'll leave him alone. No, never. Nah. Well, noblesse oblige. You can go straight to hell, you slave hustler, you foul fat lardo! Now I recognize your accent. You're no doubt from the Bronx, aren't you? Ciao! Oh. Anyway, it was just a lot of stuffy old furniture. We'll get it back. Hey, come on. Cheer up, okay? How? Oh. And with what? We'll get money. You play and I'll sing. We'll get rich together, huh? What do you think? That might take years. <laughs> well, I wasn't planning to do anything else for the next 50 years for you. Come on, smile now. We better go. Gonsalvo, you're always so stubborn. Try to be more understanding. Mizio is trying to earn his living by means of his own talent, and I'm sure before long he'll succeed. He's very serious. He has no need to earn his living. His great-great-grandfather's already earned it for him. How perfect. You'd like your son ruining his life, never working, just so you can keep him here chained like a dog. Marianne, he's had his little rebellion. He's proved his point. Now it's time he took up his duties in the family. I'm fond of Mizio, as you call him. He's my Dauphin. And I'm certainly not leaving my wealth and title to his pathetic brother. But don't you understand, Mitsu isn't after riches or titles. He's a musician, Consalvo, who wants to make it on his own. That's a luxury, available only to the poor. And if he wants to be poor, then he may sleep under the bridges that cross the Tiber. Who will have to sleep under the bridges? Your disappointing firstborn son. Eudizio. I thought he was living in the greenhouse of Villa Borghese. Uh, fresh air disagrees with him, so I'm trying to evict him. You've built plenty of houses. Give him one of those. My housing projects are unfit to live in. How can I risk the life of my son and heir in one of them? Why don't you just buy him a house? What? First, you give your money to that tramp. And now you want me to give him? Are you crazy? Not yet, Consalvo. That evens the score, I think. Madame Duvalier, if I'm not mistaken, the last time we met, you were much younger. I know all about your affair with my husband, but I thought you'd at least have the decency to stay out of my house.
Before you disavow your eldest son and send him to exile, I beg you to remember the alternative. Look, Mama, you shouldn't say that. <gasps> Good day. Oh, Papa, don't listen to her. You do what you were planning. You're always right. Oh, shut up, Iggy Stone. <laughs> Being a member of the aristocracy is really very arduous. There are ceremonies, receptions, all. And what did you say your brother's name was? No, I didn't say, because I try not to mention it, but... But his name is Miguel Leodizio Marcantoni. Mm -hmm. He's uh, somewhat odd. One could say a recluse, almost. One might call him a musician, though I don't know. Do you hear that, girls? Another musician. No, oh, no, he's not a serious musician like your daughters are. He prefers that horrible music called rock. Mm. Actually, Ego Esto, it's your sister we're interested in. And her engagement ball. Gisto, Mama. Oh, I'm so It'd sorry. It'd be fantastic to be able to participate at such an event. How exciting to be able to go to something like that. Perhaps for the masses it would be, but for wealthy Americans like yourselves, I'm sure you'd find it very boring. One always sees the same old faces and hears their boring conversation. But uh, I find that you are, pour moi, very stimulating. Perhaps we could uh, organize something sometime. Oh, no doubt you're right, Your Highness. Very boring. Still, these local observances sometimes have a curiosity value. And we don't mind being bored. Well, I'll be happy to have my appointment secretary send you an invitation. <gasps> oh, I can't thank you enough, Egisto. We're thrilled to death. Bored, of course, but thrilled, the three of us. I only wish my husband could be here. The poor fellow is never able to enjoy his millions. He's on another trip around the world. Texas, Iran, Saudi Arabia, the Conference of Oil Ministers in Cairo. And the meeting of pizza makers in Brooklyn. <gasps> oh, 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 my oh, God. You're it's home. a row. I'm so oh, sorry. No. Let me help you. Give me your jacket. Your shirt. Your pants. No, not your pants. Don't just sit there like a couple of nerds. Help the poor son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. You are silly. Oh, not really. Mm -hmm. And as for you... Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. It just fell off. That's the last pie of mine you're ever going to see. You're going back to New York. Tomorrow.
What does this mean? You're being repatriated as an undesirable alien? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. So your little girlfriend can't sing at the television audition. Oh, no. And you guys? You have to sit there staring at us like three mental midgets? This is between Cindy and me. Okay, take off. That's all for today. Come on. So? Tell me. What happened? What's happening is I'm getting kicked out of your country. Muriel arranged it with the police. Why? All because of some stuck-up jerk who came to dinner. I spilled pie all over him. But that's nothing. They can't expatriate you ju just because you spilled pie on someone. Oh, yeah? Muriel can. It wasn't just someone. It was a stupid prince. Besides, they've got my name on file at police headquarters. Uh, remember the first night that I was here? Well, I got drunk and they picked me up. I'm sorry, but why are you telling me all this now and not before? Well, you had problems of your own with your landlord, and I didn't want to make things worse for you. It was going to fall to that pasty-faced idiot, H.G., so you should have seen him. Don't worry. I'm going to make sure that you stay. Hmm? The order was signed by the chief of police at the request of the American embassy. One of Muriel's friends did it. Well, I got friends too. Well, people I know at least. You? You don't even have a bed to sleep in. Oh, no. Don't worry. You have to trust me. Don't say anything to anybody. You're with me now, and you're not leaving. Okay? Oh, It'll be all right, Cindy. I never want to leave you ever. <laughs> never. I want to stay with you forever. I promise you, you don't have to leave. Never, never, never. All right? I love you, Mithya. I know, and I love you. I'm doing it for safety's sake. Did you spray his hair, Antonio? Yes, Don Gonsalvo. Well, spray the floors, too. He might be infested. So, is this one of your funny jokes? Tell me. No, dear boy, it's not a joke. Just taking precautions. God knows that you picked up one of those bridges. Well, now that you're here, sit down. Aren't you afraid I'll dirty your chair? And to what do I owe this honor? I decided to go to the ball. Oh. I'll see if I can get you an invitation. And have you also decided to accept the title of Grand Master of Ceremonies to the Holy Father? Yes. Hmm, better and better. And what, may I ask, brought about this change of heart? Well, I want ah. you... You want me to do you a favor, huh? I would, yes. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you would yield sooner or later. Well, what do you want? A house? An allowance? I don't want anything for myself. It's for Cindy. Oh, that's street urgent. Now look here. I mean that charming young lady who thinks I'm a park custodian. Well, what is it? I want you to go to the chief of police and have her visa extended indefinitely. Oh, that girl means something to you, huh? Yes. Now, the choice is up to you. If you accept, I'll agree to accept the papal title. I accept. But, um, now it's my turn to give you my conditions. First, in this house, I'm in command. Therefore, it's me who decides. Second, you're a perfect idiot. And you must learn from me. Third, I never knew you to keep your promises in the past. And I don't trust you to do so now. So, I anticipated your reluctant surrender and had my secretary draw up this little agreement. Let's say it's a contract. You sign it and we'll make a deal. And Joe Cindy can stay. There's some mail for you. It's about time it came. The police. 
Give it to Cindy. It must be a copy of her expulsion order. A coat of arms? The invitation. The invitation to the ball. Liz, Carol, we've been invited. Oh, how wonderful. Mrs. Harold Cardoni and her daughters, Caroline and Elizabeth, yes. are cordially invited to the Garagiersky Palace, Palace, Rome, on the evening of Saturday, June 3rd, 1983, in our... You know, in honor of the engagement of the Princess Victoria Esmeralda. Esmeralda? To Don Felipe Guida, Cunyali, Martinez, Grande, and... We made it! Now, wait a minute. What are we going to wear? Don't panic. Don't panic. Whatever you do, stay cool. Cool and collected. We have a million things to do by Saturday. I'm taking a bath now. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, Marianne, I can stay. The police gave me permission. Look, Miss, you did it. You did left it. the paper, darling. How can I read it? Cindy Cardone is authorized to reside in Italy for an indefinite period of time. With regard to the chief of police. <laughs> Miss, you did it. He said he would, but I didn't believe him. It's fantastic. I gotta tell him right away. But why the hurry? Why must you go to him now? I gotta see him now, because today they're having the auditions at the TV station. I gotta get dressed. I can't sing in my pajamas. What am I gonna do with my hair? Oh. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> with them. I'll join you later, okay? I have something else to do. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me how you did it, big shot. 
What's the difference? Now it's done. You can stay in Italy. Isn't that what you wanted? But, but the police got a request from the American Embassy, and all I want to know is how did you get around to doing that? I mean, how did you do it, huh? Hey, Mitchell, Cindy, come on, we're leaving! Don't wait for us, go on! What is this, huh? There's so many mysteries about you I don't know, so much you hide from me. For instance, like when you got a seat on the plane that didn't have a seat left. And like when you ate dinner with that money broom and casually signed the contract after two minutes and getting the 12 million lira just like that, and plus renting a house from a park custodian. I think about these things and I realize something here. I don't even know you. I've been honest with you, meets you, and you with me? Meets you. Who in the hell are you? Well, tell me. Okay. I think I'll have to explain something. Please do. I'm all ears. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> it's hard to explain. You see, I'm really... Who? I want to know the truth. Okay, I'll tell you. Oh, look who's here. Hey, when have they let you out of the slammer? Got off easy, huh? Are you thinking of going into business on your own? Who grabs the person? You or him? What do you want? I don't know you. Oh, you don't know us? Let me have it. Well, what about this? Oh, it's yours. Anyway, thanks for the good time. Go away. Just go away. I don't know you. I've never seen you before. Oh, no way. Your name is on that necklace. <laughs> Didn't you hear what she said? You go on your way I now. I don't know them. Ah, see. Ah, it's not a lesson, Aquilo. Ah! 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 Stop! Please, stop! Get yourself a real bike, Paisa. Or the cops will nab you. Right now. Vizio, are you okay? I'm so sorry. So, what was that all about? I don't know. I never saw them before. What do you mean you don't know? This is yours, isn't it? I... I... Sure it is. You had it on the first night when you came to my house. You remember? The night you ran away? Maybe I did. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Were you with them that night? Were you? Yes, I was. What of it? And what happened? Did they rape you? Nothing happened, at least not what you think. And you say you've always been honest with me. I'll bet nothing happened. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth, Cindy. The real truth. The truth is you're lying to me. You're the one who's always lying. What about Kitty, your manager, that red-headed shark? What are you doing for her to thank her for the audition? You're the liar, not me! <gasps> My mother was right. She figured you out right away. You're nothing than a tramp and a lousy Italian macho liar is what you are. Who's a liar? You're the liar. And to think I ruined my life for you. Okay, that'll do it. Not bad, boys. Take ten. Okay. I'd like to run it again after the break. Come on. Good idea. Good idea. Hey, Colonel. Who is it? It's me. Come closer. I can't see you. Hi, hot wind. If you've come for the show, I'm afraid you're two hours early. I didn't come for the show. I'm leaving with you. Wow. Hmm, a rock and roller who goes by the name of Colonel. Could be a drug addict, too. Yeah. Well, you're right on there, but I'm not going anywhere with you. I have nothing to say to that rat. If he meets you as problems, that's his business, not mine. No, 
You better listen and heed your fairy godmother. You must come with me at once and learn the truth about me, too, before you do something <laughs> foolish. Now come along quickly. There's not a moment to lose. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Oh, you're close. Oh, never mind. Uh, I'll think of something. Well, come on. Taxi! Oh, here's one. Hurry, Cindy. The taxi's here. Oh, but it's occupied. Uh, get my valise, for favor. Si, signore. <laughs> oh, scusi. Hey, where are we? In Rome, where else? <laughs> I thought it was Morocco. Yes, but would you please hurry? I'm in a rush and need oh. a taxi. No, no, no. I get this taxi at the airport and I want but, you to wait for me. But I need it for myself. You pay him off and get another later. You'll find a camel, signora. Who? <laughs> 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 wait. Cindy. Oh, you he. But ah. you're the colonel, uh, what huh? What's a fox uh, who like you wanting with my pretty little what, Cindy? What you How saying? odious you are. Foul are and you shocking. Crazy? If I were a man, I'd hit you. No, if no, her no, father listen, were here, you wouldn't I, be pandering around to this fat maniac. Mary is my father. Ah, uh, my little a Cindy. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but who is this monster? I'm Mary Ann. It's a Marianne. pleasure. Look, I come for the engagement of your sister with the prince. Isn't Muriel home? No, no, there's no one there. They must be shopping. And you? Engagement? M Muriel, has you convinced that one of my sisters, uh, your daughters, is going to be engaged with the prince? Oh. Yeah, but I'm going to send her 5,000 bucks to buy dresses and God knows what. But who's getting engaged here? Oh, I, you, everyone's getting engaged. Come on, meet behind oh, no, me. No, just a moment. No, I, I got to change it. I got my tuxedo put on. Get I'm going to put... Get in, change in the taxi. Get in, Cindy. Hey, where are we I going? I know where we're going. Don't worry. Well, it's Italy's become a real madhouse, oh. You're not coming in. Where are you going? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with her. I have one more thing to do before I leave. You know no, it. we're not going anyplace else because we've arrived. What do you mean? You're telling me Mitya's here? What is he doing in the Garadeski Palace? Oh, he's the one who'll explain that to you. No, 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 forget it. I'm going home. That's right, run away. Haven't you the courage to tell Mitya to his face that you've decided to run off with that rock general? Colonel. All right, you want to see courage? I'll show you courage. Where are you going? No, 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 no. They won't let you in dress like that. Go this way. And you go up the stairs. Hey, what's the story of a general, a colonel, eh, Cindy? Oh, Dad, I'll explain to you later. Uh, I see you after the ball. No, no way. Because you'll be waiting for this general. Colonel. Ah. His name is Colonel. Oh. I'll write you all about it when I get there, okay? Uh. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Bye. You take care of yourself, Cindy. I hope you know what you're doing. When I arrive here in Rome, I find you in the company of a mad fortune teller and generals. Oh, San Gennaro. Hey, Paisa, my feet are killing me. Many more stairs to climb. No, the entrance to the orchestra is there on your right. I got live music, too, huh? Thanks a lot, Jack. But nothing. Ah, Muriel. Muriel, I'm here. Oh, is that really you, or is it a ghost? Now, what do you want from me? After I get a telegram you sent me, you don't think I heard it right over? Well, I guess I'm a first-class jerk. I ought to know better than to expect anything else from you. Uh, I'm a fly over the Atlantic Ocean, and you tell me I'm a ghost. Don't shout. This is a classy scene. You're not in a pizzeria now. You've got to disappear. We don't even know you. Wait, have you lost your mind? I didn't come all the way over here to be treated like garbage, much. huh? I'm a harigadonia, and I want to know what's going on. Now, come on. Harry, listen to me. This isn't the time or place to argue. We've plenty of time for that later. Just be quiet and... Oh, Buonasera, it's you. How are you? Buonasera. Well, but I don't know you. Do any of you know this fellow? In a manner of speaking. Well, what are you saying? I'm the husband of this woman here. He's your husband? Yeah, I'm legally married to her and also father to these two feather bread. The oil man? Uh, no, mister, I'm into pizza. Oh, my God. Uh, Harry's a pizza in the Brooklyn. Uh, oh. It's one of the best. Are you? Oh, Egisto, Procopio, Lucantonio, the Duke of Roccasanto, the Viscount of Matera, and the second son of my father, Prince Giardeschi. Hey, is this salami for real? Papa, yes! Ah, he's the one who's supposed to get engaged to one of you two, no, uh, the Papa. prince. No, I regret not with either one. Although they are both quite interesting. 
And now I beg you to please excuse me. I must be going. I hope you enjoy your evening. Ciao. And you want to get engaged with them fool oh, like that? Oh, Come on, let's get out of here right now. We're eh? staying. Fun. We're having fun. And we're not going away now. We want to stay if you won't go. We have been invited to this ball and we're staying. There's lots of princes out there. And I'm going to get your daughters married to some of them. No matter what. Eat your ice cream, Harry. And shut up. No. Please do. Attention, please. I have an important announcement to make. We are pleased to welcome you. And we wish to thank you for being with us on this happy occasion. To have all of you gathered here around me brings joy to these eyes and warms my heart. But at the same time, this old heart of mine is sad, like any good father faced with losing. Waiter, please. Would you come here, please? Such a joyful Tell me something. Who's that? The one talking. Isn't he the caretaker of Villa Borghese Park? Prince Garadeski. Caretaker of Villa Borghese, eh? If he wanted to, he could buy it. Will you excuse me? But an engagement Thank you. precedes a marriage. And for a father, a mother, a daughter's marriage means she'll be bidding us adieu. Papa, don't make it so long and don't be so tragic. <laughs> anyway, what dear friends, I'm very happy what about What charisma. You. What a man. And I have something else to tell you that also glads my heart. In addition to what I have told you, I have another one. Oh my God, that's the vagabond from the airport. Uh, I don't believe Why is oh. she got a dog collar? Yes, dear friends, although our dear Vittoria is going away, we have regained a son, our firstborn, Eudizio Gerardeschi, who after a long absence has returned to us. Not only has he agreed to return to his family, which gladdens us more than any of you can imagine, but he will assume the noble title and duties of Grand Master of Ceremonies at the Holy See. I know that our friends, the Mariscalkis, were expecting to get that title, but the collar will still stay on the neck of a Gerardeschi. Pause here and pass on to my first. But where have I seen her before?
really marvelous. The one I always wanted to give you. What are you waiting for? Go after her. Fly! <laughs> Listen, wait! I can explain everything now. Come back. There is nothing to explain. Just look at yourself! You look like a clown! I know. I know. That's what I am. But I want to explain. And you can't be Cinderella and go off with your shoe on. Come back. Oh, yeah? You want the slipper? You can have it! There! So long, you stupid prince! Cindy! Eudizio, why are you holding that shoe in your hand? Who does it belong to? How do you like Marianne in this dress? Isn't she marvelous? <laughs> now, from now on, I want you to come to the palace every week. Even better, three times a week. Well, now, Papa's been looking for you everywhere. He's furious. Oh, you do, Mitzi. Everyone's waiting. Yes, Victoria, we're coming. All right. I want to have a couple of words with the Grand Master of Ceremony. All right, my dear Marianne. Mm. But come quickly. All right, darling, we'll go. Mitzio. Mitzio, what's gone wrong? You and my mother, friends? How come? <laughs> no, yet I was able to please her and managed to tell her fortune. I remembered some of the things that you had said. But, and Cindy, didn't she find you? Mitzio, but isn't this her slipper? It's all that remains of her. Remember the night you told me I ought to have told her my real identity? I should have done it. We could have avoided a fight. Well, anyway, I'll explain to her tomorrow morning. Are you flying to Rio, too? Rio? Attenzione prego, ultima chiamata per il volo a Italia 1578 per Dakar, Rio de Janeiro. Imbarco immediato, uscita numero 11. Oh no!
dreams tonight Won't you stay here beside me, stay Yes, I'll stay here beside you, stay.